All right, YouTube, tonight we're going to play some Black Green Rock. Um, I have a friend that's been playing this deck, and he's pretty high on it. So I'm going to give it a whirl. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's the rock, you know? It's it's Jund. It's, it's just, you know, your solid 50-50 deck. It seems like it's pretty good against the top two decks. It had a pretty poor win rate conversion in the day two of Bilbao, which makes me a little worried. But it's likely pretty good against, you know, it's good against the top two decks. And let's see if it, it works otherwise. So we're going to give it a whirl. I usually don't like decks like this. I tend to think that if you're kind of a mid-range deck, that means you're kind of bad at everything. <clears throat> You know, like, you're not a very good aggro deck. You're not a very good control deck. You know, like, you're, 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 you have an identity crisis. But he, my buddy says that this deck's well positioned. So I can give it a try. It's one of the three decks that I'm thinking about for the format challenge. Right? I mean, this is how you draw it up, right, Bob? And, uh... Just card spell into Bob. Runs away with it. All right. Get rid of that. <clears throat> so we have to learn right off the bat what we think about this deck. Rip another looting, or is he just putting the comp back in the graveyard? So I guess now we go discard the reunion, play treetop. Just kind of chill out. And then we play Bob next turn. It's a fortunate draw for the home team there. Draw loan. Draw loan, that's a good one. Scavengers. Wow, that was a nice draw. I'm going to pop it right now. <clears throat> we might hit something nice. That was a good hit. That counts as nice. Play that next turn. Actually, I think I'm going to play two bobs next turn. Oh, that sucks. Still think I'm going to play two bobs next turn. <clears throat> I'm going to fetch a basic probably swap. Because it gives us like a lot of looks at scavenging use. That card doesn't do anything. Maybe I should get a I might get a forest in case we hit ooze. Like I just want to be completely green manned up. Alright, my opponent pretty much missed. They get the flashback looting, but they don't get to do anything with it. Oh, they drew a cathartic. They have a con flag in the graveyard. All right. Come on, Bob. Tom Royce. Field of Ruin. Kalidus. <clears throat> so the play's got to be just... Tracker, land, Tarmogoyf, attack for four. <coughs> Try to pair this Kalidus with something next turn. Beat down. No small clock. They take a draw step. I guess they don't have any drill dredgers. Yeah, Kalidus was nice. I didn't even reveal it too, which is great. Kalidus can also make this Liliana not embarrassing. Which is kind of a combo. 
<clears throat> Cletus was a great pickup. Oh, my, my game thing's all out of whack. I had to reinstall Moto, so I think my game's whacked out. All right, so. Eats my two, then gets to dredge a lot. All right, double Narc Amoeba. So I think that my opponent's out of Conflag, so I'm pretty safe to just... Um, okay, so a bunch of those come back. So we're going to have to be on defense now. Scavenging is another nice pickup. <clears throat> so I can play Ooze and play defense or play Kalidus, and I like playing Ooze. I would like to pair my Kalidus with like a Fatal Push. And I'm going to let my opponent just dredge. And I'm going to like eat enablers. My opponent out of conflagrates, I'm not really worried about. Okay. Hey, Phil, stop. Philly. Okay, so they're loaning back these lands. What I can do here is just eat these blood ghasts in response, which I kind of like doing. So let's just, because now they can like play a fetch land <clears throat> and they can mess with my scavenging ooze, which just ties up my mana. And I'm pretty sure they're out of conflict. Is that all the only blood ghast left in their deck? They've got that one. I'm just going to let them do whatever they want when it comes to dredging at this point. Oh, I still have to move this over. <clears throat> yeah, I can take five. Okay. This is the like I this is the Hail Mary attack. So we have a lot of dredge cards in this sideboard. Like I've got cage and three surgicals. These and then we'll just cut the Lilianas, and then I also have the Kalidas. So I'll cut the Lilianas. And probably like a thought sees. I could also bring in the Thrag Tusk and then cut another Thought Seize. My discard spells don't seem that good on the draw. <clears throat> How does Damnation work with Kalidus in play? Do I get like 4 million zombies? Or because my Kalidus dies, does nothing happen? Do we know? Yeah, it's nice. Think you get zombies? All right, I'm gonna try this because I don't think that with like a proper amount of graveyard hate, damnation might be a decent reset. We have enough cards that are bad. I'm gonna look to bring back my thoughts. He's bring my thoughts. He's back in on the play though. <coughs> okay. That's what I was looking to know. Man, I still haven't fixed this thing. All right, I think this hand's a mulligan. No piece of interaction, no skews, no bomb, no nothing like that. We probably can do better. All right. Put it on top. Maybe I was supposed to cut my, maybe my trophies. My trophies are probably worse. Yeah, my trophies are definitely worse then discard because they bring in like removal from my creatures 
Okay, nice. Yeah, so I'm gonna cut my trophies for sure. All right, we might end up popping this bomb. All right, I guess we can wait. We don't have to pop it. Like we can let them dredge. We can see what we hit. <coughs> That's fine. All right, so we're gonna go <clears throat> Inquisition because I don't know, it might be a card that I want to grab here. Yeah, now I think I'm just going to nuke the graveyard and draw a card. Their hand just doesn't do anything. Right. <coughs> so I can go Bob Tapland on my turn. Yeah, the Thought Seasons are definitely better than these. I messed up with that. I've not seen a Scalding. They drew the Scalding time. They played Black League plays. Here comes Creeping Chill. Race on. F6 value. Uh, like, if I had Fatal Push, I would sit here and I would bluff it. So we got a way to kill Bob. All right, attack. Play Tarmogoyf. Goyf. And pass. I'm gonna turn some lights on in a second. It's already dark in DC. <laughs> gas and amalgam. So all of a sudden, we might have a little bit of a fight on our hands. I'd like to find Kalidus. Drag Tusk would be nice. Surgical. <clears throat> we're definitely ahead, but we're not that far ahead. If anything, we might be behind now. Put an instant in the graveyard and Tarma Wife grows. <clears throat> so now I can push one of these, which I'll just probably do here. Just to use my mana. Alright, well there's Kalidus, which makes you feel dumb. We're pushing. 
How's it going, Teddy? When you would play a good deck like Pod. I like this deck. I'm going to discard spell my opponent here. I might put a dredger in the graveyard. But if I hit like a lightning axe, then it's going to line up the way for this Kalidus. Yeah, that kind of sucks. But that is life. <clears throat> and I will attack with Tarmogoy. If I'm pretty cool, I'm just going to chump block with my mom. They attack. <clears throat> they dredged Dark Blast. Interesting. Oh, they did it because it would kill my Kalidus. Gotcha. It's all right. We'll go Decay Trophy. And end this game. I guess I actually could just go Trophy this. They get their Blood Gas back. We pulse the Blood Gasts. I'm just gonna give it a whirl tonight. Um, yeah, I'll just be mana. Well, you know, I'll just attack with my Kalidus, and I'll probably just eat a token. And uh, yeah, there we go. We're gonna give it a try tonight because I think the Phoenix deck has like morphed a little to be able to handle Death Shadow with all of these Pyromancer's Ascensions. So I want to be able to like trophy or decay in Ascension. Also, with all the lava axes, like a 5-5 five, five Gurmag Angler is just a little small. So I'm going to try getting some 5-6-6-7 six, six, Tarmogoyfs and then seeing how that works out. So that's what we're trying to do. Maybe turn some lights on here before we're done. <laughs> All right, we'd like to play first. And I will keep my hand. These are like these hands where you just feel like probably pretty disgusting playing this deck. Like, I don't think you can mulligan hands like this, but like, what am I really doing? It's also better versus dredge. You think it's better versus dredge? What am I doing? Probably fetch Swamp in case we draw the Liana. I have a very hard time believing it's favored in the mirror. The Snapcaster deck is usually always favored against the Tomagoyf deck. It's a tale as old as magic times. Yeah, dude, play your bottle. You wanna show me a Luliana of the Veil? All right, Luliana of the Veil, not gonna do a lot. <clears throat> I'm sure I like to play defense here, and then I'll like kill something and go. Yeah, I don't really believe that, Lexinator. I did lose to it the last time I played it, but that was the first time in a while that that had happened. <coughs> yeah, I would say I would say you are, but I mean the deck's good. Like, I, I think it's a under, really underrated deck. We're gonna try to get a little two for you. Like, play your spirit mantle, or your spirit pick, whatever you want to play here. Attack into my scavenging ooze. All right, well, that thing's dead. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is 
I'm still gonna take this two for one. Like, I'm gonna kill this, and then I'm gonna end up killing that. But I get to eat a creature for free here. And then I also get to eat this Griff Spoon out of the graveyard. <clears throat> With my scavenging ooze. That is nice, but it's likely not part of the plan this turn. So I'm gonna kill this and then eat this Griff Spoon right now. And then just kind of probably, yeah. Probably attacking. Path to exile that, okay. Yes, well, I'm not attacking. I will go get a forest. Probably should have gotten a swamp so that I can use my spell bomb. Or I should have like <clears throat> eaten a creature to gain a life. Yeah. Yeah, that was my fault. Could have just eaten a creature. I could be up one more life. All right. Bill. Okay. Thing is big. Very big. My opponent looks like they don't have a lot going on here, which is nice. But they are giving us the beatdowns. Again, we can... Can I play this Kalidus out? Probably can't. I can go Kalidus Crack Bomb, which is kind of a nice turn. But, like, what does my Kalidus actually do here? Not a lot. When I could go, like, kill this Ethereal Armor, block trade. But if I block trade, I get a token. Ooh, I don't have triple black. You're right. You're right, Chowang. You're right. Yeah, so I guess it's just Tireless Tracker. I'm going to try to trade with this thing. Giving it a try. We're giving it a try, Lawrence. How are you doing? I 4 1 with the Honda Civic. No, you're going to kill my thing? Why are you going to do that? Model 4-1 Tribal. Oh, that's rough. This game just got a lot harder. Okay. So now I probably have to kill the Rancor. And then we're in jump block mode. Killing the Rancor makes this thing <clears throat> minus four power. Maybe I don't even have to chump block. Definitely gonna kill the Rancor. Oh, does it? Oh, man. I'm always used to that being when the creature dies, not when the Rancor comes back. Oh, that feels stupid. I could have eaten it with my spell. This game has been a little, a little not good played from my end. This game has been a little fast and loose from the home team. All right, well, that didn't matter. I gave, I literally just spent two mana to ramp my opponent. It was not my proudest moment. All right. Well, I don't even know what I can draw. Was not my proudest moment for sure. Liliana Last Hope doesn't do a damn thing. Try to use it all the time. Cute up. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hope you don't watch that game. That game was not great. Game was not, not that good. But this is good. This is good. It's 
pretty much it. Kalidus is not good. Last Hope is not good. My Spell Bombs are not good. Am I just like boarding in Surgical Extraction just to hopefully hit one of the morons? Yeah, I know that. Like, we got Damnation. Damnation's in the definitely pile. These are in the cards I want to get out of my deck. It ain't pretty. Four Fatal Pushes is, is a lot, but sometimes they load up on Dryad Arbor and you got to kill Core Firewalker on the spot. And it's like, I could just shave another, I could go like this. I could take like an important enchantment out of their deck, I guess, if I get to kill one. I don't really think Thrag Tusk is that good. Indicate pressure. Yeah. Yeah, that seems pretty narrow. I'll go with what Lawrence is talking about. We'll go like this. And we'll go here. <clears throat> well, push it is better than surgical, but it's the fourth push what you want. All right. Don't lay like me, bro. Swear to God, don't do it. Yes. Hey, it's pretty solid. And even if they, like, get around us with Liliana, we can damnation our way out of it. Sounds very, sounds very nice. We get to draw a card or two also, hopefully. But if they path me, then we get to... Wow, well, that's a nice draw. If they path me, then I just get to, like, edict them without them putting another creature on the board, likely. You guys want to know a fun fact about me? So, one of my favorite beers is Magic Hat Number no. Nine. It's made in Vermont. It's kind of it's all around the it's all around the world. Um, and my uncle, step uncle, made the logo for it, which is kind of cool. Oh come on! There we go. There we go. It's also nice. This is, this is like a really nice Bob deck because your curve's pretty low. As I say that, I take three. Phil, come on, Phil. Don't do that. Come on. This is the deal. You are right, Zach. I shouldn't always lead to that. He lived your best life. He's kind of being a dink tonight. I took him out. We went and we threw the ball. And, like, he's supposed to nap. But he's like, nah, I ain't doing that shit. This is going to be the old cycle canopy concession. All right, we aren't that lucky. This is just Liliana tick up. So it's probably like tick up, ditch Bob, play Tarmogoyf, play Tapland. We'll offer the trade to start because we have a second one. And this is probably ditch the second Bob. <laughs> we play mono blue shadow. We don't have that kind of wizardry. 
I guess I have enough lands where I can keep this Bob around in case I need another creature or something like that. Like, there might be a world where I gain a bunch of life. And then I actually kind of want to play Tireless Tracker and play Blooming Mars just to be mana efficient. Because, like, there's not a huge difference between Tarmogoyf and Tracker. Them ditching Spirit Mantle is kind of good for the home team. Yeah, we're just going to be mana efficient. Oh, I restarted Moto, and I didn't, um, I didn't turn off the settings. Or I reinstalled Moto. What? No. Why would you do that? So here's a big question. Are we gonna just one for one deal with this thing? Like I can go Inquisition, Damnation, if it's bad, which I kind of like doing. And if it's not, I can play Tarmogoyf and crack a clue. So we're gonna go Inquisition, kind of check out what's going on. Ethereal Armor, Rancor. I kind of just want to take this path to exile and then Damnation, and then attack and Damnation the board away and then follow up with Bob, Tarmogoyf. Yeah, that's kind of what I want to do. So let's just take this path, play my land. Go get this. So I can attack for five, but like I'm at 10 and they can easily go like, if they draw an ethereal, another ethereal armor. If they draw a land, they can go, they can just put like a million points of power on the board next turn. I don't really want to be doing that with an active Bob. Anytime you can leave uh, whatever it is, black green without a threat, or not black green, uh, threat without a threat, you're in good shape. That's nice. Now I kind of just want to go Tarmogoyf Ooze because I can eat twice and kill them. All right, nice. Okay. I think we're just going to submit. There's not really much more to do. Hope to fade a ley line and get a Liliana on turn three. Got the same for Mulligan. Hand is no bueno. I'm going to keep seven. All right, we're going to keep this. We have a Liliana. I kind of want to put this on the bottom <clears throat> because they're going to play turn one creature and I can already deal with whatever the stupid card is. Um, core fire or core spirit dancer. And I want to get to three mana to play Liliana and pulse. So we're just going to bottom this. No way lines. Nice. I put it on Twitter. Try to find on my list for this weekend. I did not see his list. How's it going, Tim? Yeah, we're giving this deck a try. Dito's list is is one is one Dylan's old list. I remember he played my list that I top aided with for a long, long time. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to force that guy to do anything. All right, that's not a bad draw. Whatever, post it on Twitter, Kevin, Kevin, and I'll check it out. There are three decks that I'm considering for this weekend. There's four. There's like two different builds of Grixis Shadow. And there's two different builds of Grixis Shadow. And uh, what do we got here? Spirit Link? All right, that doesn't matter. 
and Jun Shadow in this deck for the quarterlies. All right, are we playing Tarmac Waves? Does Tarmac Waves even matter? Is, is playing a Squire worth taking two damage? Or is it worth shocking myself to be able to fatal push a core Firewalker? Or a core Spirit Dancer? <clears throat> yeah, I don't even want to play it. I kind of just want to play a tap land. <clears throat> I wish that was a swamp because if they play like a core spirit dancer and I can't push it, I feel kind of dumb. But I don't know if I'm supposed to shock myself to just push it. I mean, the guy wins, right? I mean, I can't really give him a lot of crap. All right, Daybreak Hornet, sweet. Come on, Black Source. It's the second one. I'm 1-0. Oh. I'd be Dredge. All right, come on. Ugh. All right. Play as Goyf. Pass. <laughs> nice slow roll, Dylan. I'm probably dead. Now I am dead. There's no sense blocking it, has trample. Yeah, no, I'm actually dead. That doesn't even really buy me a turn because I can, like, blow this up in combat, chump, and then they can replay it and it doesn't matter. Yeah, it was the four-color one that I played. That I tweeted it out. All right. There are 24 of you. Why didn't you come for me, land? Why didn't you do it? Rounds are firing off quick tonight. I would like to play first. I would like to keep my hand. We're going to go the old Quagmire on one. Bubbles. <clears throat> yeah, we're not playing. Uh, we'll play Shadow later. We're going to play Shadow this afternoon. All right, well, I'm just going to run this out. I'm going to get double black because <clears throat> we have two pushes. And then it makes it so, like, any land we draw can still cast Liana. Like, this thing's probably going to die. <laughs> Oh, it's a basic. We're we getting like smallpox? What's going on? No. It's like Mardu or Jund, or am I playing against like a combo deck? I think it's a combo deck. Getting the old Bobby Boy in play is nice. We probably can't win if we play Mardu Pyromancer. Just actual dead in the water. <clears throat> so awkward. They're definitely a Blood Moon deck. They played freaking. If they fetched for a swamp instead of a tapped duel and didn't use the mana. Raid. This is some weird prison deck.
Do I just like live with my life again, Blood Moon? Play this Bob. How many forests do I have? Two. Oh. All right, God hates a coward. It's one of those where I'm going to lose if they blood moon me right here, and I'm also going to lose if I don't put a clock on them. Superior here. So blood moon, that's funny. Tapped. Put it into play tapped. Yeah. Yeah, don't kill my Bob. Come on, don't do it. Don't kill my Bob. You bastard. What did Bob ever do to you? All right. All right, Tarmogoyf. Attack first. I'm not even going to crack it now because drawing a force isn't doing anything for me. Got my next sword. All right. Well, I didn't have to stop at the end step there. That's annoying. All right, we're going to attack. We have two outs. Would have been nice. Now we have, we still have two outs, but they just send me the spear guy to me. Who just like wakes up in the morning and is like, this is what I want to do. This is how it should be done. Chalice of the Void on two. I got an abrupt decay, dude. All right. I'm going to concede... Because I could play this out for the small amounts of hope, but I don't want to do that. All right, so these aren't good. This is good. Collective brutality, maybe, because my opponent has things to hit. Like, they killed two of my creatures. Like, the Kalidus is probably okay because it attacks. I want these out of here. I kind of just want to bring in cards that attack. Because I don't really think any of these cards are that good. I could just bring in a... I'm going to bring in a Kalidus over the second spell bomb. Because it turns sideways. <clears throat> what about a, I guess if a 2-2 two, two for 3, is Fulminator Mage better than Kalidus? Do they have creatures I can kill? Do they have any form of recursion? Because like, putting a 2-2 two, two for 3 in my deck is embarrassing. It's like marginal, marginal things. These fatal pushes are probably bad. I board it. I can board. I can believe this. 
They might have like some weird like pack rat. I don't know. Uh, that's why I wish you played to get out more of Wing Con. Yeah, I got to figure out a deck to play this weekend. So I'm more, I'm more just kind of like playing to see if I like the decks. And you know, the vote of confidence was this, the game against Dredge. I got to get a feel for a deck if I like playing it before I want to invest into it. You know what I mean? I'm gonna submit. I would like to play first. All right, we got discard spell into probably Tarmogoyf. We gotta fetch black green, which is a little annoying. Take it easy, Kev. All right. I'm just going to take this in Snaring Bridge. Whatever you want, Chalice on one me, do it. And then we're going to play Tarmogoyf. No, I'm playing in the two challenges on Moto. How's it going, Dito? The two quarterly format challenges? Man, there's light sucks. All right, you got the chalice. They played this, exiled this, played this. So they have these three cards left, I think. Is it right to play Tomagoyf over Dark Confidant? Good. Maybe another weekend. It's got to be right to play Goyf. Like, you know, we're going to start beating down. Bob will do something at some point. Yeah, Tenno is nice. All right, we're going to attack and then just play Dark Confidant. Uh, okay, who's got Mountain Chalice X? Field, Inquisition. All right. All right. This is what I got. You know, Chalice me for two? Deal. Okay. Comes into play untapped. Fortunately, this isn't a one turn clock, which kind of sucks. All right. Maybe I shouldn't have ditched my veil because it makes Tarmogoyf. Yeah, that was probably wrong to do. It makes Tarmor Wife too big. All right. Well, I don't want to grow Goyf. They've got a uh, bridge. All right. Hit submit. Tap lands, tap lands. I think it's a mulligan. Because, like, this card's really probably not that good. I can go land thought seize, but then I don't do anything on turn two. I could draw. 
card for it I don't have blood moon covered this game feels pretty mopey it's going to mulligan all right this hand's better I'm gonna put this on top so that I can fetch two basics and then still get Liliana All right, I will take this Blood Moon because my opponent's hand does not do anything without it. And they can do it next turn. All right, you got my, they hit a Chalice, that's okay. Chalice is whatever. Play this Fetch, play Scavenging Ooze. Well, Scavenging Ooze doesn't do anything because it just dies. But maybe that is better. <sighs> so they probably go Exile Damnation, take my pulse. And then I play Liliana, tick up, ditch a land, they ditch. I kind of want to play the ooze because it's not hitting a dark confidant. Yeah, I'm going to do it. This might be loose, but like, I'm going to put the ooze in play. Sinks my opponent's mana. The ooze isn't going to do anything, anyways, this game. So, like, like yay, kill it, or just like let it stay there. And if I, they kill it, then if I draw Bob, then Bob's going to stick. If they kill it, they're not playing a lock piece. Like, I'm never going to be able to probably grow this out of brutality range. So it's kind of whatever. So now this Liliana doesn't really do anything. I'm going to play it. Because their deck just needs as many resources as they can get their hands on. I'll just ditch this Field of Ruin. Like any way we can choke their resources, the better. Like we're probably going to get rid of the Damnation, which is just going to leave them a Mana Monkey after they bedevil this. They exiled Simeon Spear Guide. Oh, they went to... That sucks. They wanted to discard the guide, but they accidentally exiled it. That sucks. I thought I just got motoed hard. That's what you get for playing a prison deck. Yeah, we got it. So I don't know any cards in my opponent's hand. Dark Confidant or Tomeroyth? Give me some of that F6 value. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a 3-3. Three, three. All right. I could let them do it, which probably isn't worth it. Here we go, Mopin. That's annoying. Lands? God, that sucks. 
All right, I mean, I guess you do it, then your Liliana dies to the Quagmire. At least I make it go down instead of attacking it, then it goes up to three. Yeah, my opponent definitely got motoed. Rabble Master, Jesus. Right, we're not blocking. Edict. They might actually trade their Rabble Master here. I mean, that seems a little wild, I guess. I don't know, actually, I mean... The Rabble Master is going to deal a lot of damage. Okay, they did. I think that's probably actually good for me. Like, I've got Pulse and Decay left. Oh, Johnny, thank you very much for the raid. I appreciate that. All right, yeah, we're dead. I yield. I yield. All right, one and two. One and two. Hopefully we can finish out the 3-2. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much, Tannen. Hope you're having a good day. Yo, I want to keep this hand. I have two discard spells and a bob. YOLO. Are you about five out of ten, or you played fifteen matches and went five and ten? No opponent did not need that Simeon Spirit Guide. And five and ten, that's that's rough. That is rough, my friend. All right, take the welding jar. They put a card on the bottom. All right, come on, land. I thought it's kind of already mulliganed, which is nice. Sad. Just gonna fire it off. Sad. I took this mox. Yeah, that'll happen. I mean, sometimes you lose. That is Magic the Gathering. All right. This should do it. I wish this was the other Liliana. Yeah, that's tough, Johnny. I'm really worried about an ensnaring bridge. I guess they played all of these. Uh, I shouldn't always yield to this. Jeez. So I could snap off this Mox Opal. It gives them a land, but it kills their Gilman Void, which doesn't really seem worth it. I assume they play basics. Yeah, I, I don't. I didn't yield to it, right? I meant not to. I meant like not yield, right? We're not. We're not doing that. Are you show me? Oh, it's right here. Yeah, we're not yielding to Bob. Uh, I'm gonna kill uh, a bridge if one comes down. Oh, now I can kill two lands though. We're not going to do that anymore. 
I'm not going to do that anymore. 119 people. I hope everyone's having a good night. Watching us rock out. It's going to name Liliana the Veil, I assume. They can't name Clue. So it's got to be Liliana. I mean, scavenging use, maybe. All right, opponent. I just did the last help. Okay. And what's last help going to do to you? Land. There's a land. I should have said an untapped land. All right, sweet. What are you doing with my draw step? Attack. I'm going to play Overgrown Tomb, play Tracker. Dealing ourselves a little bit of damage, but, you know, the, the looking to end this game. Curve's not that high. There's only one four drop. Stir the pot, friend. yourself another redraw redraws into redraws wheel spinning 101 so they can whir now for bridge they cannot whir for bridge anymore they targeted themselves what do you have a way to shuffle your deck why would you target yourself you also shut off your mocks i don't know if that matters Channel someone one, you got it. All right, we draw a one. So what do we got? We've got five. I think I'm just gonna play tracker. We're trying to get power on the board. This is a little out of sequencing. Because, like, we do five this turn. Next turn, we do eight, ten. So, I guess it's not. We still can't make it a. We get a three turn, but we can't make it a two turn. Staring Bridge. All right, we got that. Damning Sphere. We got that. All right. Get rid of this. I don't know. I don't know why he did that. All right, let's. What are we doing? Might as well crack one of these. Does it change the clock? It doesn't change the clock at all. So we might as well keep up illusions. Because what is this? This is three, six, eight. Yeah, we might as well not. There's nothing, no real reason to do anything. My opponent's tapping white mana. I guess I'm not, I'm not going to do anything either, so I'm just going to make so they can't make colored mana off of this if they need to for some reason. Look how you grace me, I choke. Hit another bridge. There were. All right. So we've got four outs to that, I guess. Maybe I didn't have to. Maybe I could have played Liliana. Started working that at least. All right. Fatal push for our own Bob. All right. I'm just going to start cracking these. We've got a lot of hits that just win us the game here. Always yield. Always yield. Like I'm fairly certain just spinning through my deck is more effective than trying to get a six turn ultimate when we're seeing like nine cards a turn. All 
right, we will pass. Ditch my last help. Ditch these discard spells. <clears throat> Heal until next end step. Mox Opal doesn't do anything. Or it's just float mana. We have the yield sign. Get back to us, okay? Oh, they're just they're just doing it. All right, come on. Fatal push. Scavenging ooze. <clears throat> I haven't actually done this math yet, but I'm assuming that it's better for us to see a million cards a turn. I might as well play another tracker. It punishes me a little bit if keep one push to kill my own Bob. If our top card was exactly a way to kill them, but we just have more ways to sink our mana now. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do it. Oh, man. Now I'm off a card. It's all right. I uh, could, let's do this, thin our deck out a little bit. How many lands we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is number nine. So this can come into play tapped. Overgrown Tomb. Opponent has one card. I'm going to feel kind of dumb if we get like, if we get whacked, but. It's always stupid of me to play the second tracker. Like I'm never going to kill the. Never going to get rid of enough clues. Oh, did I miscount my lands? I must have. All right, we'll yield. I'm never going to, like, actually get through everything here. <clears throat> he has chalice, not push. Yes, he does. You're right. You're right. Get rid of one of these. Should be keeping off or an extra cards in hand because of word. He's just gonna play it off the top if he gets it, Lawrence. Like I'm not keeping him off of anything at this point, right? Because I have two. And we've got what three hits in our deck. We're drawing three. We're drawing. A lot of cards a turn here. Because, like, the Liliana, while it does stuff, like, it's going to win the game slower than doing this is. Because, like, I'm just going to go up, make a split that's, like, bridge-verse. Why? I don't think trucking up to Veil vale does anything, right? I should be fetching here to thin my deck out before I do any of this. Why does, Lil Why does Liliana keep Jar off the table, Lawrence? If you go bridge versus everything. Okay. But then we have seven, then we have to sit there for seven more turns, right? Like, we, we've been pretty unprobable here. Like, I'm 23 cards in my deck, and I haven't seen a card that just wins me the game. Yeah, but, like, where's our gut shot? I don't know where our gut shot is. It would be nice to have it. But we have three answers left in our deck. Engineer explosives for three. Okay. You got it. All right, I'm going to fetch. I guess me fetching is probably not good because it takes away life. Yeah, we have five. We have five. We have four outs, basically. 
Wait, why, why does, so you find a decay, you actually kill the bridge. No, they're, they're just going to play off the top, Lawrence. It doesn't matter. I had them at zero cards when I could have played Liliana. They'll just play off the top. Like, if my opponent hits a relevant card, they'll just play it. Like, Liliana's sorcery speed discard doesn't matter. No, it, Liliana doesn't keep War out of their hand when their hand's like this and their board's like this. Well, that card is like either relevant and they would play it at instant speed or it doesn't matter and they're just keeping it in their hand. It is like a little weird. We have not seen one of our five outs yet. I don't need to yet, but I, I will have to. Yes. We don't have a five in our deck. This is wild. Okay, that is the that's a good one. Force them to use word to find another bridge which mails from both answers both. That that makes sense. That does. So what cards do I not want? Don't want this. Don't want my fetch lands. I didn't hear the double. Lily plus forces them to whir. But like, yeah, so when I, when I want to go for it, that's what I meant. I'm confused. When I want to go for it, I will play my Liliana and I will plus it. Like, when it's time to, uh, I shouldn't, I, I guess it doesn't really matter what I'm discarding here. When it's time for me to, like, go for it, I will play my Liliana. All right, well, now we're in trouble. But we'll find, I gotta just hope we find two answers to this thing. Like, there's one. Okay, how much mana do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that I just think the line when I can draw four cards a turn, I think that's better than a Liliana activation. We were very unfortunate not to hit. I mean, I don't know how many turns we've been sitting here just floundering. You know what I mean? I do need a Liliana myself this turn. I have to count my mana. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mana. So I'm going to play this land. I can go 1, 2, 3, 3, up. 1, 2, 1, 2, kill. So I can get one, I can look at one card first before I make any decisions. Yeah, we don't have to Lily Minus on ourselves. 1, 2, Liliana. Okay, so I'm not killing my opponent this turn. I don't think. So I can draw another card. Okay. So now we'll go this. Play Liliana, minus on myself. I just take me to count this damping spear too while doing all this math. Yeah, if we could have made the goyf have zero power, that would have been cool. I'm gonna play my spell bomb also. Let's play two for this. Okay. Oh, it's in the chalice. I'm so stupid. I'm rattled. I'm rattled. I'm trying to communicate and I'm all rattled. All right, so we're gonna draw a card. What? So 
So I just I just hit this now and make them whir. No, I can't because of the thing. That's odd. I can't trophy because of uh, damning sphere. Oh, they have EE. They're going to do it now. I still can't trophy. It makes sense. They're going to blow up my creatures. Okay. So then on the upkeep, I'll hit this. Ditch this. And keep my Liliana, ditch Dark Confidant. So I'll upkeep, kill this. And then we play Tarmogoyf Scavenging Use next turn. We have 10 cards in our deck. We have a pulse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, three, three, four, five, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're good. So just play this first, tick it up. I can just attack with a man land too, but hang on, we're gonna go to this first. So here comes the word. Oh, they just I guess they don't actually die here. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. Pulse this. I discard my fatal push. All right, Maelstrom pulse this, leaving everything but Hissing Quagmire untapped. Now I have to play one more mana. Oh. Yeah, so this game was really, really weird with the fact that, like, Yeah, it is. But, like, the fact that... I don't know how to say this. The fact that, like, I figured with my opponent being empty and me being able to sink three or four draw steps into a turn that I would have found one of my five outs to kill my opponent. I missed... I missed drawing... I probably... I drew almost my entire deck and just missed. Yeah, that was just annoying. Now, I think that it's still right to do that instead of, like, playing Liliana and going up and up and up and up for a longer turn. But I only have to sink one turn into it. So, you know, there's that as well. I think I, I, think I made the best... I, I think that, like, my opponent had zero cards in hand at one point. I'm like, all right, I'm just going to draw to find one of my outs. Phil, they will decidedly get higher off the board than you do. Phil cannot. Phil, Phil can jump, but he can't jump that high. All right, I probably want Fulminator Mage. I should sideboard. I don't want these. Um, I don't really have any reason to bring anything else in unless we want Surgical Extraction, which seems pretty pretty narrow but i know i want to go these four for these four the only other cards that i'm not in love with are any of these five and i can buy the extractions being strict upgrades to spell bomb and i think that an extraction is better than a third ooze so I think this is what I want to... Oh, I'm, I'm one card off. I don't want Sphere, Brutalities. I don't. I mean, Brutality would have won us that game, but... So I think we're just going to play a third ooze to have something to attack with.
They have spell skype post board. Yeah, you're right. That might make sense. Oh, this last hope's garbage. This last hope's garbage. So we'll bring in one of these. Blech. If they have spell sky, I'm gonna keep one more of these in. Uh we're one and two up a game. Uh this hand's pretty good. We have a discard spell on one and another discard spell. It kind of sucks we have no clock, but like you know, such is the cost of doing business. I mean, we did miss, which sucked. Lasso buying back mages seems kind of, uh, kind of medium. I just fired that bobble off right now. All right, well, they saw that, right? They target me. They targeted themselves. So I want to be able to go untapped land, tap land, tireless tracker. So this is going to be coming to play untapped at some point. So I'm going to do it right now. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. I like Death Shadow right now. I think it's good, but. My friend is really high on this deck, so we're gonna give it a shot. All right, we're gonna take this ensnaring bridge because the other one is very clunky. Though, did my opponent have a even Inventor's Fair? Okay, I didn't check that. It could have been an Academy Ruins, then I would have felt a little dumb. All right. I think we're going to run him out of the gym here. Knock on wood. I'm going to play Tireless Tracker next turn to get a better clock in play. And then I'll probably just Stone Rain them next turn. How's it going, John? Yeah, I'm just going to play Tireless Tracker. Get a basic. Guess we'll get forest. We have enough black. We like might want to just clean my opponent's. I really, I don't know exactly. Like my opponent could have a bunch of weird stuff, and they might like. It'd be nice to be able to clear it out. Glimmer void. All right, so we might be killing an artifact on our turn instead of. Um, Fulminator Maging because we might be able to get a twofer with the land which would be nice Crucible alright okay so they have a bottle And they play Crucible. All right, so our opponent's not going to crack this bobble. Now I probably just play Fatal, play Full and Rage and attack now that they can Crucible me. So I know they have Island Glimmer Void. So yeah, I'm just gonna. There's no way that I can get them with this, right? So this is at the beginning of the next end step. So they crack this on their end step, they get a whole turn cycle. Be like this is my this is like my whatever my third league with this deck so I don't really have that good of an idea. What is this crucible world is gonna do to me? Like, do I have to do it this turn? Because my opponent next turn is just gonna 
they can't even play an artifact, play Inventor's Fair, and do anything with it. So, like, while we might have to kill this Crucible world eventually, I don't think we need to do it now. Yeah, we're going to have to deal with it eventually. Well, they have a free artifact. Sorry, my phone just did that. They need a free artifact to do it, yes. Exactly a free one, but now they would need two free ones. There's one free one. Bottle cloister. Okay. So now I'm going to exile their hand. So decay crucible, fulminator mage, or decay crucible, fulminator mage, the fair. And then my opponent's mox is turned off. The card they have underneath is a Glimmer Void. Because we only had, like, I thought they would have Spellskite or, like, Psy. So we have a couple of them. Whatever, I'm going to attack for five. And then I think I'm just going to blow this up, hit this. Just to set them back, I guess. It leaves me a little naked to a bridge off the top. But this is going to eventually... This is, like, eventually going to be a bridge. I'm not going to kill my opponent fast enough. To have it matter. Well, seven. Then six. They go get... We hit them. They then take the turn off to play it. We kill them, and then we six them again. So I can wait, actually. Yeah, we're technically, like, beating this Inventor's Fair. And we can fire up a Quagmire on the turn where it matters. It draws them another card. Each opponent's upkeep. Exile all cards from your hand until your turn. Okay, you got it. Some put fear in the spells guy in him. Yeah. I also didn't have like a lot of good cards to bring in. Like it was like I think it was between like I don't know. Cut my two of these for Spellskite. I just didn't have like a configuration. Like, like it was like, leave these in my deck. Or the Fatal Push, I think. No, turn off auto yields. Okay. All right. I thought I was. Ooh. All right. Well, now we're definitely winning the race. So my opponent's going to were this turn. Or going to Inventor's Fair. Sacrifice Inventor's Fair. Search your library. One, two, three, four. Okay. So now I can go like this. I shouldn't have done that, but whatever. Attack for six, play Tarmogoyf, have Abrupt Decay, and then be able to draw cards on my turn. I shouldn't have shocked. I, I miscounted there. I thought I was going to need that to get this, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, we just didn't quite have enough that were really worth it. It might be worth making him do this now. Hang on. We couldn't stop this, but we've we've got him covered. 
as long as you didn't draw like a welding jar. It might need it for spell skype, which would also be important. So get bridge, you got it. Five cards. You got like double dude. What do you got? You got double ensnaring bridge. You got mox opal. Deal. I heard it wasn't close. Dude, these these memes, these are uh, emotes, squad chief. All right, my opponent. Can still work for another, but they won't be able to work because all their cards will be gone. Chalice on two, you got it. Because the Rupt K is sweet. They can't do anything here, but I might as well untap with them having zero cards. They have no cards. Hiya. Oh my god, we got it. I got li I literally got so scared of that chalice thing when I saw that there. Never a PT. All right, here we go for the last match. I, I really appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out tonight. Uh, my name is Dylan Hovey. I'm part of the Card Hoarder Network. If you have Magic Online needs, you should check out Card Hoarder. Um, I write in the corner, you should check them out. If you want to interact with me online, my Twitter's linked below. All these are linked below. I put all the recordings from my stream on YouTube. And if you're looking to buy singles, you should check out Game of Face. It's where I learned to play Magic. They have uh, real competitive prices. And all that is linked below. We'll get back to it. Last match. Last match. I would like to play first. And like I get I guess keep this hand. We have discard spell on one into like we got a removal spell. We have something to do that might we have a redraw. Like if that was like a cantrip, I would probably, you know. Try to picture up there next to all those. Are you paying me? Squat Chief? You whip out that wallet and I will do it, sir. Oh, we got ourselves some hot mirror action. So in the mirror, we take we all we never let the two for ones hit the board. We'll have to deal with that Tarmogoy eventually, but like I don't want them to sandbag this tireless tracker and draw 19 cards off of it. That's kind of sad that we didn't take the removal spell, but such is life. Am I just going to want to cycle this? I probably will just want to cycle this. So, like this and pass. Maybe we'll hit a Liliana. Put it up and give you a chest a month. What do you think I am? You think I'm, you think I'm some cheap, cheap guy? No, I would like to, I would like to, I don't really care. I want to keep my two for ones for as long as possible. And I get a redraw at a Liliana because like Liliana here is like really nice. All right, so this Tarmogoyf is gone and this Verdant Catacombs is gone. I don't even want to kill this tongue wife. Uh, 
but I probably will. I would like to kill like a Liliana or something like that. I'm going to take a shot from it. Oh, I didn't even see the marsh. It's all right. I saw them all as black green lands that come into play tapped. I'm going to take this shot in case my opponent has a Dark Confidant or a Liliana of their own. All right, yeah, you grow your growth, bud. Definitely should have played this land, like just zoned out here with my, my black green, my four different black green lands. Then we're going to kill this so that we can untap, hit a discard spell like a professional, and play Bob. Or kill my opponent's Bob, one of the two. We're two and two, playing the mirror for... Make sure to do this at the end step, because it comes in play untapped. We can't be lazy. What the heck? Oh, I don't have a stop on my opponent's... Ugh. That's so annoying. Well, now I just go... I kind of want both my creatures to live. I did just get motoed. I want both my creatures to live, which isn't going to happen. Which one is more important? Every single stop enabled? Yeah. Um... Star Confidant is going to be like a little slow. Dredge Boggles. I don't know what to do. I actually don't know what to do. Part of me thinks that I should just play a tap land and then trophy one of these, take four, and then try to overload my opponent's mana on one turn by playing two different threats. And I think I'm going to do that. Like I guess I kind of overload my opponent's mana by playing one, but I just hate playing into Liliana the Veil in these kind of matchups. You got Land Ooze Trophy. All right, well, now we've got two. I guess we give them a mana on their turn now. But... Now, when I, now they should just take my ooze and then leave me with Bob. It would have been nice if I would have hit, if I would have been able to hit that whatever it is on the end step, then I would be able to go on two threats in one turn. But that did not happen. This voice is mega huge. You just take my take my scavenging ooze. Yeah. Don't play anything. Please don't play anything. Please don't play anything. Let me draw Liliana. Please. All I want is a Liliana. Yeah, it's game one. All right. We got that main deck goodness. All right. Play this. And 
And we're going to take six on this turn because I'm going to go fetch. Dude, I don't know. This world, we live in a weird world here. Swamp. Yo, surgical. Well, I might be using all of my mana because, like, I only have six in play. If I flip a three drop and draw a three drop, I don't want to have to go. But I guess I don't have to go fetch shot because I have a million basics. Yeah, you're right. I have, like, a million basics in my deck. I'm so used to, like, fetch shocking. This one is not. It is not. I take it. Block with my face. A shadowless one. Come on, miss. Yo, if my opponent's surgical, my scavenging uses, that would kind of suck. All right, so that's what they drew. In the interest of competitive diversity, we have cut that shadow. You know, like, it would kind of suck if they took rid of my, to got rid of my scavenging uses, though. All right, come on, Bob, don't do me dirty. We only have one Kalidas, too, so, like, we're a little low on the life gain train. All right, that's not what I wanted. Well, they didn't have to keep it in. So playing this second Bob is crazy, right? It's just one Bob fetch land. I'm not going to play Bob. Like, the problem with... <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna play Tarmogoyf, play play land, pass. I might as well I should hold my land for Tireless Tracker. I'm not playing Bob. Like, the problem is this Bob is gonna kill me. I need to draw cards to win this game, and I also need to draw cards to kill Bobs. I'm not gonna play my Bob. This Bob, I might block with this one, then I'll play the other one, but I'm not running him out here. I should have, well, I'm going to block with it if my opponent attacks. I'm going to double block. That's what my thought was. All right, you got it. My opponent is kind of messing my mana up, so if I draw a scavenging ooze. Cowards can't block warriors. Oh, my opponent drew a Kalidus. So now if I block and trade, they get a zombie. So we probably, I probably would just bounce. All right, come on. Oh my God. I'm going to one and then edict roll up. Actually, you can just go edict roll up on my own Bob. 
Then I just die to a removal spell. But I also die to like half cards, any spell. So I'm just going to do that. They just, if I last hope, if I go to rebuy, they just surgical. So that doesn't actually do anything. I feel like I have to play Liliana Edict and then play another one and roll up on this. Yes, but like they can surgical in response. I don't die if I roll up, Zach. I, I, I would go Edict and then I will go roll up my own my own Bob and then if they draw anything, I'm dead. Oh, if I roll up on my own thing, the Kalidus gives it a token. Dude, I'm so dead. All right, sack your Kalidus. Sack your Kalidus. Sack it. Come on, sack it. You bastard. All right, I'm attacking with my Tarmogoyf. I'm just going to hope my opponent bricks, I think, and we're going to try to win. Brick, then I'll block. And we'll go for that, go from there. Ugh. We gotta bounce on when we go on therapy. Take it easy, Mike. I will block. Surgical, my trophy. You got it. I wonder what that does to the average CMC of my deck. Am I dead? Okay. I'm dead. <clears throat> We're dead. Okay. So we want just like bombs in the mirror. We want to be able to cut our six discard spells. And these spell bombs are pretty medium as well. And the spell bombs basically just cycle. Which, like, I don't really know if cycling is worth it. Like, Brutality at least kills Bob and can strip, like, a removal spell, maybe. It ain't pretty. But they don't, I mean, they, yeah, they they do and they don't, right? I mean, like, your opponent, you can activate it and your opponent can still get lucky and get you. I appreciate all the follows that have been coming through. I haven't been, these games have been long and difficult to navigate, so I haven't really been paying attention that much. Uh, I would like to play first, yes. Uh, not to mulligan. You're supposed not to mulligan in these matchups, but you need hands that work. Jeez. 
a little tough confirmation bias is right to go keep this doesn't do anything what does this land even do it doesn't cast any of my spells but you probably can't put it on the bottom because it will eventually we don't get run over uh just doesn't do anything Uh, this is not good. All right, land. No. All right. Come on. F6 through our turn. All right. All right. We will pass. Well, let's, yeah, maybe some of my discard was better than some of the cards I brought in. All right. All right. I yield. I yield. Okay. So let's go back. Talk about the deck a little bit, and then we'll get ready for the next one. Um, uh, so what I, I lost to the mirror, where I was close to pulling it out. Maybe if I had misclicked, I could have done another play and been all right, uh, but I'm not sure. I lost to the mirror. I lost to Boggles, and I lost to a black, red, Blood Moon prison deck. I beat Dredge, which is nice, and I can't remember what the fourth of the I beat were. So I beat two of the decks that I'm supposed to beat. Um, no, I will not be. I will not be Kevin, but I will see you later. Um, yeah, I just yeah, this deck's just not. It's not for me. There are people that are gonna like this deck and play this. I tend to think mid-range just means you're bad at everything. You're just in the middle. And, like, you don't do anything really well. Which is just... It's not what I want to be doing when it comes to magic. I would like to be in a camp. You know? That, that's where I want to be. I want to have a defined role against... At least in game one. And then I can move it in. This, this deck wants to be... <clears throat> I dislike decks that want to be flexible. Game one, at least. So, But... We'll 